guys welcome back to my channel i know i know i know it's been so long since i made my last video and i kind of want to apologize but i also just want to do rather than apologize you know it's kind of like you know actions speak louder than words so yes but i'm here now and guess what guys it's been three years three years since i got my hair can you believe it because i can't I can't believe time has gone by so so fast and this is a picture of where I was three years ago and compared to this where I am right now crazy right I think I actually hit the length I was at my longest while relaxed and I'll show you a picture and I'll put a side by side just to show you that I think I've gotten there so it's crazy three years after and this is where I am so I'm making this video today to kind of share with you guys three things I have learned in the last three years that I have been natural. These are things that have worked for me. These are things that I preach. These are things that I strongly believe. Anybody that comes to me about natural hair tips and tricks, these, is, these are the things that I share. So I thought why not just make a video in my third year of being natural, three things that I have learned in the last three years. So, so sit back and relax and enjoy. Video. So guys, my first um, lesson pertains to the things you do during your wash day. Hence, I brought you along because now I'm about to wash my hair, and I will be first of all doing some pre pull. If I don't protein before a wash, as in if I don't use a protein treatment before a wash, then I just do a normal pre pull using like a cheapy conditioner in here I have mixed some herbal essence and um, ORS conditioner together with some coconut oil so that's what I'm going to be doing today so what I've learned in the last three years I have learned that adaptation is key by the way if you see me looking here it's because my mirror is right there I have learned that adaptation is key and is highly 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 needed on this journey called healthy hair I used to be one that would wash my hair in fours I mean that was what everybody was doing like you wash your hair in fours make it easier yeah. it, was, it was easier when my hair was a bit shorter but now that my hair is this <laughs> fours don't work for me no more so now I actually have to um, deal with my hair in at least 8 to 10 to 12 sometimes parts so that's what I do when I'm prepping my hair for a wash. Yeah, guys, you wouldn't believe that I was sitting here some months, no, a year ago maybe. I was sitting here a year ago literally crying my eyes out because it was taking forever to, to tangle my hair. Given that, yeah, um my hair had a lot of single strand knots but still i was tangling in fours and it was taking forever i was crying i was showing a fit i'm like i'm done with this and that was the first time i ever considered cutting my hair off i think i probably posted about this on my instagram page yeah by the way if you're not following me follow me it's grow growing grown on instagram whenever i do a new hairstyle I always post it up there if I have little videos like this on how I'm washing my hair I always post it and share like the products I'm using during that period so yeah I also have my trusty white tooth comb white tooth comb <laughs> here with me to help in this detangling process so yeah so Adaptation, as I was saying, adaptation is key when it comes to healthy hair journey. You have to adapt with your hair, else your hair is going to leave you behind, honey. It's going to let you go. I mean, because as your hair gets thicker, as your hair gets longer, the things that you did when you had a TWA is not the same or will not work anymore. So you just have to figure out what exactly works for you and do it. Yeah? So that's my lesson. By the way, it's been, I think, four weeks before I, last when I last washed my hair. Shh. 
So people think I'm dirty when I do that. Again, girl, again. What works for me may not work for others, and that's fine. Like my friend Kareen says, I'm dirty, but I can go two, three, no, not three months. That's pushing it. I can go two months without washing my hair, and it's fine. Like, I don't mind. <laughs> Am I that dirty, really? So the second thing I have learned pertains to the products that you use. So whenever I'm done washing my hair, I either braid it or twist it or do some kind of perm rod, perm rods on my hair or something. And I always use the same products. I I, in the last point that you should adapt with your hair, which I still believe is true. If the product you're using right now doesn't work anymore, or if your product that you used to use before doesn't work anymore, please change and try and find something that works. However, if the products work for you, stick to it. I know lots of us natural girls love or tend to want to be try different products or tend to be product junkies. I was one before. But when, but when it came to doing my hair, when it came to styling my hair, I always use these three products. Always, always, always. In this other basically I always first start with pinky curly not today on my wet hair and then I apply the grapeseed oil you can use any kind of oil you want but I always the grapeseed oil works for me it's, and then I always end with the Jane Carter solutions nourish and shine I did try their leave-in leave conditioner but it didn't work it was too liquidy for it me it was watery but I do love the kinky curly because it is lightweight it is water based but it's not too thick it's just enough moisture that I need and whenever I top it whenever I follow it up with these products my hair stays moisturized for as long as long as possible oh. trust trust me it is tried and tested so again if a product works for you, stick to it. If it stops working, try and adapt, try and find something new. But if it's working, don't try and change anything. Just stick to what you know. It's always nice to stick to what you know. So the third and final point is about protective styling. This is something I preach every time. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, is what do maybe how do you grow your hair? How do you take care of your hair? What do you do? And I always, I always say that low manipulation is key. And when I say low manipulation, I mean literally put your hair away and let it be. Let your hair be. I wash my hair once once or twice once in a month or twice a month. No. I wash my hair once every month or once every two months. And the rest during that period if, while I'm not washing my hair, it's in the protective style. It's either under a wig or a braid. Or crochet braids I've gotten to love. It's very crucial that you try and do the things to your hair that do not that prevent breakage. Man and breakage comes with too much manipulation. Hence, why I say it's best to protective style your hair, put it away, and let it be. I know that this is a little bit counterproductive. As then you're trying to grow your hair, you're trying to make your hair flourish. Why you put it in the way? And I know, I know, I know, but I do get those times where I do get to enjoy my hair and to see my hair out. But most of the time, I'm also putting it under a wig because it's easier to deal with, and I don't want my hair to break. So, yeah, those are the three things I have learned in the last three years that I have been natural. As I said, the first is adaptation, adapting to the changes that your hair is going through. The second is Finding a product that works for you and sticking to it and not necessarily being a product junk junkie. And the third is protective styling. Protective styling helps your hair flourish. Put it away. It reduces a lot of breakage. Just put it away and see your hair grow, basically. So that's it, guys. That's the three things I have learned in the last three years of being natural. I hope you can take something from this. I hope... If you have any other points, please share them in the comment section. Probably I would learn from that or any other person watching this video would also learn. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye.